How y'all all doing? Welcome to Air Max Fitted Central. I'm here with another review from one of my latest pickups. Um, this one's going to be a real quick one. Um, I picked this one up at, in Hat Club. This one came in a few days ago. I've been sitting on it. I've been saying I want to do a review on it. And the reason, one of the reasons why I want to do a review on it is because I didn't know about this team. This team was actually supposed to be a baseball team back in the days. So the history behind it is the San Diego Padres were going to move to Washington, D.C. And they were going to become the Washington Stars. And for some reason, um, it didn't happen. And... Um, they didn't become the Washington Stars. Um, they had the uniforms ready. They had the hats ready. They had almost everything ready to move to Washington, D.C., to move the San Diego Padres to um, to Washington, D.C., and it didn't happen. So when I saw Hat Club post this, right, and post a little history behind it, I was like, oh, wow, I got to have that hat. So I picked this one up. There was actually three hats that dropped. That they dropped. I actually picked up this one because this one's the one that I like the most out of the three. Um, it's a green bottom. So, you know, I love green bottom. If you saw my first review, I, I, to I told you how much I love green bottoms. It's a green bottom. And, I mean, it's pretty much plain. It's a plain hat. It's really not much to it. But uh, the reason why I bought it is because I'm a big baseball fan. And I did not know about this. Like, I literally did not know about it. This happened back in the 70s. So of course I didn't know about it. I wasn't even I wasn't even a thought at that time. But um but yeah, it's a pretty dope hat. It's a plain hat. I mean it's just this is the Washington Stars logo. And that's pretty much it. I mean it's a really plain hat. The other two hats that I saw are pretty nice. But I was feeling this one more. Sometimes I like simple. Um but it's a pretty dope hat, you know. It's just really throw on some nice navy blue sneakers on, some red sneakers, you know. So it's really not a hard hat to draw on with an outfit. Um, obviously, no Batman. And one thing that I noticed about um, this hat is that it doesn't really have no MLB logo or anything like that. So sometimes some of the 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 new era hats, like the baseball hats, they have the the MLB logo inside, or the Cooperstown logo, something like that. This doesn't have it, and I guess the reason why is because um, this never became a, an official baseball team, so I guess that's the reason why, but that's the reason why I picked up this hat, because I never knew about it, and it's a pretty dope hat. It's a really, really dope hat, really dope hat. So, Washington, D.C. had to wait, like, another 30 years to get a baseball team and obviously the next baseball team that they got was the Washington Nationals but it's a pretty dope hat and it, these these hats sat for a while they sat for a while they sat for days I, I, there's still a couple of them that are still sitting but this one was probably the first one that sold out I don't know I, I think it was already sold out but it's a pretty dope hat really love it I, still, I think they still got the other two on the site so go check that out and yeah if you like this review please like it please subscribe to my channel and share and follow me on my instagram air max fitted central there you're gonna see content of fitteds and air maxes that i pick up and yeah i'll see ya take care i'm out